it's Raquel Bowman here and today I'm going to be sharing an unboxing of some Sizzix goodies that I just received. These are the latest releases from Sizzix Lifestyle. They are, I think it's titled the Chapter 3 release. So what I thought I'd do is go through each of the dies that I've received with you, show them to you, let you know the die number in case you want to look into purchasing them and give you a close-up look. So I'll get started. This one here is called the Treetops Glisten die and its number is 661729. It's a thinlets die and it's super cute. It's got a really nice detail as you can see from the cutting plate behind as well. Really nice detail that you can embellish on those little round, I suppose that's why it's glistening, areas as well. So there's that one. Next one we have is the Graceful Angel. So a few of these you'll notice have a more Christmas theme to them and some are just a general release. So this is double six one seven double two, and that's your angel. And that's a thin let's die as well. It's just the one piece. This one here is called the Moroccan tile, and this is double six one seven two five. I think this would be a really fun one to cut and use on a background for either a card so the perfect size for a card I'll grab my ruler it is nearly five inches tall so it is the perfect size to fit fit on a four by six size card but also you could cut multiple and use them as a fun background as well so that's that one there did I give the number for that? In case I didn't, that's 661725. Then we have, and I really like this one, I think this is super fun. It's Bright Spark. And it's just some really fun icons that are really versatile and could be used on lots of different projects. So you've got your so the speech mark, or you could turn, use it as a comma got your geotag, hashtag, an at symbol, light bulb and an Instagram type camera. So that's really fun. That's 661721. And then we have Little Robin. This has your four, it's got four pieces and it's a cute little birdie. It's 661724. This one here is brush numbers. So you might have seen there's already some alphas released in this same font. So this is double six one seven two six. There's eleven dies. So you've got the word today as well as your numbers one to nine and then zero as well. And they're a good size too. For layouts as well as cards if you're doing say a birthday card that you need a number for they're about an inch there's those these out the way there's lots <laughs> I might be here for a little while focus there we go this one I love this I think this would be so good for uh, new babies and first birthdays those sorts of things this is animal portraits and it is just a really cute set of animals. Look at the little bear. It's, it's double six two zero nine four. I think that's so fun. So there's seven pieces all together. And then you can build on and sort of paper piece it together. How cute is that? I can't wait to use these. This one here I think is going to be a super versatile die. And I'm looking forward to trying this one out and using it on my pages. It's an antique doily and it's double six one seven two zero. Look at that detail. It's quite intricate in this sort of middle part. I think that would look really nice behind a photo or behind some clusters of embellishments. And that's another really good size die. It's round about sort of four inches square. 
So there's that one. That's double six one seven two zero. If I haven't said that already, I feel like I'm. Yeah, feels a bit strange calling out the numbers like this, but at least it gives you an idea of uh, looking for it if you're interested. So this one here is a folk flower, and I haven't received ones like this before. So it's a framelit with the stamp that coordinates inside the die. So you've got the leaf, you've got the outline of the floral, and then you've got the floral stamp in the middle. This is going to be super fun to add to layouts and to add to cards to be able to sort of create a nice detailed image rather than just having the whole die piece or sort of ones that are cut out like a floral. You can add lots of detail through the flower image. So that's it there. And that leaf as well I think you could use on its own too. So there it is stamped on the back. And that's double six two one six five and it's folk flower. This is another one of the framelits with stamps. I can't wait to play with these. This one is called Wild Butterfly. It's double six two one six eight. And it's got your butterfly image and then your outline. So you could use them on their own or together as they're intended. It's up to you. This next one will be perfect when you're making, say, a wedding card. And this is a floral cake. It's double six two one six seven. You can see it up the top there stamped and cut out already. But it's just your wedding style cake. Then you've got the dies that match and coordinate. So what's nice about this one is that you've got this leaf here which you can sort of stick on top of that. So you can sort of paper piece it together as well. So you can stamp it and then sort of cut it out with the die. So something like the magnetic plate would work perfect for that because you'd be able to sort of get your die directly on top of where you want it to cut from your stamped image. I think that's really clever. So that's that one. <clears throat> this one is called the Fair Isle. Is that how you say it? Stocking. Double six two one six six. And it's a Chrissy stocking with your sort of holly and berries there. And then the dies. So that's that one. It's double six two one six six. I told you there's lots. I'm still going. How spoiled am I? This one is so cute. I love this. It's um, under the sea and it's double six two zero double nine. And it's a set of 14 dies in this one. And it's an under the sea type theme. So you've got your waves and your starfish and your coral and your and your fish and your whales and your little splashes. How fun. How cute is that? I think that's so cute. So that's it there. And then we have the country florals. And this is going to be a super versatile piece. I love these leaf images. They'd work with any kind of floral that you might have, whether it's die cut or already from a collection that paper collection that you might have. It's 13 dies, it's double six two zero nine five. And it's just a really nice set. What's that? This one's really fun, and I think these clouds are going to get a lot of use on my pages. It is 662097, and it's called Rainy Days and Sunshine. And it's clouds, sun, love hearts, raindrops, and an umbrella. And we are another good size set. So the larger cloud is nearly three inches by around about one and a half inches so a good size for cards but also for layouts there's that this one my daughter was very excited about um, and it is a spooky set 
when she saw this she was yeah she was very very excited so Pete you've made a little girl happy <laughs> it is a double six one seven two seven and it's just a Halloween theme set so I'm sort of imagining already being able to cut out multiple of these and giving her some of that crafty time. She could make cards for her friends at kindy for Halloween and yeah, really fun. It has eight dies. Did I say the number? It's 661727. And you just sort of piece it together. So with a little bit of help, I know that she'd be able to do this. So that's those, little witch and a vampire. Now I'm up to, I'll do this one last thinlets die, and then I'm up to the big dies. So this one here is a thinlets plus die. So I have a big shot plus, which allows me to cut sort of like that A4E width of um, dies. So this one here creates a star box. So you might have seen I made a diamond box a little while ago. Well, this one is a star version. So you just sort of cut that out on your piece of cardstock or pattern paper, and then you fold along the lines of the scored and adhere together the tabs, which it has just sort of around there, or if I show you here, to piece it together. So these would be really fun to either give little gifts for Christmas in or even create some decorations. I was thinking I could even cut multiple of these on A4 paper for the kids at school to put together and maybe we could put in something little, a little trinket or something for them to take at home or they could just make a decoration with it. But they're a really cute, fun style box different to a traditional one. So that's those. Now we're getting on to the big dies. So this first one, I didn't say the number of this one, sorry, it's 661728. And then this big die, which is called the Wild Layered Flower, is 661735. And layered together with the three pieces when you cut multiple you can make this floral I love the look of these on cards but I've also cut some on felt and I've made pieces for headbands and things for my daughter so they're very versatile these sorts of dies the big dies you can cut leather felt you can cut a variety of materials a few layers of pattern paper can go through these but these cut through more heavy duty materials, not just your cardstock and pattern paper. So you could create different textured florals as well, material. And this one here is called Pretty Climber and it's 661734. And it is, it's got sort of two pieces to it, or two ways, two things to cut. It's got your vine and then it's got an extra leaf so that you could do what's here where they've layered another one that would be really nice on scrapbook pages as well with the flourishes this one here is old saint nick and it's double six one seven three three and it's a santa so you can see here the different sort of pieces that you have to lay it together and then obviously what you can do is say cut the hat in the red and you might cut Santa, Santa's sort of face area there in a creamy colour or a more pale colour. Add a bit of blush and he's done. So he's double six one seven double three. Then I'm nearly done. Nearly done. This one here is angel number two. And I really like her. I think that she would be super fun. I'm thinking it's funny how my mind automatically ticks to um, school when I see some icons like this, just because they would make really fun crafty activities at school or at home with my kids that, you know, you only need some paper or pattern paper to make a really nice, cute craft. 
So this one here consists of sort of your body, angel body shape, the wings, and then a star and a heart. It's double six one seven three zero. And it's a really good size because the big dies. I should know what size they are, but I'm not sure whether they're they five and a half by nearly six yeah nearly six so they're a really good size die and good size sort of embellishment here and last one another Christmas one is O Christmas Tree 661732 and it's a set of two Christmas trees you've got your base there some decorations that you can add to it your star and a heart and they're just really sweet. So that's double six one seven three two. I hope you've enjoyed having a look at a close up look at the new release dies from Sizzix Lifestyle. If you've got any questions, just leave them in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and I'll be sharing some makes with these amazing dies really soon. Bye, everyone.